My name is Clint Parker. I'm a lieutenant uh, with Germantown Police Department. I've been here for a little over 18 years. I uh, currently supervise the SRO program uh, and the crossing guards, and I'm also a liaison to the Germantown Municipal School District. Theodore Bronnex, School Resource Officer for Dogwood Elementary. My name is Shayla Stewart. I'm a School Resource Officer for Houston High School. We currently have eight officers assigned to six schools. We have three officers at the high school and then one officer at each of the additional five schools. The crossing guards uh, have currently have 10 crossing guards that are assigned to the Germantown Municipal School District. To be a school resource officer, I, I didn't fully understand what that was early on and I just thought that, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put somebody over there. But it, you definitely have to have a specific set of skills and experience to be an SRO. Uh, the National Association of School Resource Officers recommends that you have at least three years on as a police officer before even being an SRO. I like to push a little bit further than that. I like somebody that's a lot more mature in their career, who's been dealing with the public and knows how to interact with people, maybe has kids of their own, and can operate in those environments a lot better. When I first became a Germantown police officer, I came from the Sheriff's Department, uh, working in the jail to coming out here. It was different because I was used to basically fighting every day and working in the jail, but once I came out here and me in patrol, this is more of a community. It's basically community policing. Once I left there, I became a task force officer. And from the task force officer position, I was dealing with drugs, um, serving warrants for criminals that's been out doing that. And then now to be an SRO, this is like my cream on the top because I love working with the kids. The kids is nothing but bundle of joy that I do with every day. When I first got to, to Germantown, I was a, in, a, in dispatch for about a year and a half where I was able to learn, improve my multitasking skills. Left there and I went to uniform patrol, uh, became a crisis intervention officer, a field training officer, a crime scene officer, a uh, instructor, and a car seat technician. And then I went on to become an SRO. My typical work day becomes when I first come in, I bring the kids in from walking from the street to the parents that bring their cars in and bringing and dropping off the kids in the morning. And once I get into the building, we all pledge allegiance to the flag and most of the time we're uh, seeing the kids in the hallways. But my physical duty is just walk the halls, be visible, walk the hall, walk the, the perimeter from the outside to the inside and let them know I'm here. That's like most of the teachers like, we have never seen an officer walk as much as you. I was like, well, if I'm, you guys don't see me, then that means I'm not here. And I have to be visible for you guys. I wanna make sure y'all know that I'm here to make sure you're safe. My typical work day is making sure that the perimeter of the school, the inside and out is secure and safe at all times. Uh, we teach different classes as far as uh, career development. We teach uh, what you would do if you got into a motor vehicle crash. We also teach drug awareness. Uh, we also take any type of reports that may need to uh, be handled as far as a motor vehicle crash. If you know the seniors and juniors that are driving, sometimes they have accidents. Um, also, uh, working all of these sporting events after school, we are there for them all the time at every game, from baseball to softball, basketball, football, just to make sure that they all are safe. The most important part of a school resource officer's job is to be visible. Visibility to the kids and to the staff to know that I have somebody here, here to protect me. And if I can't protect you, I will make sure I'm gonna get somebody here to help. I think the most important part of a SRO's job is maintaining the student's safety and building good relationships with the students and with the faculty. For us to have officers in those schools that can develop those relationships with the students and the teachers and staff, uh, just to show them and say, this is what a good officer is. This is what a good officer does. We want to model that behavior in the schools the most difficult part of this job for me is if a student makes a bad decision and um, unfortunately we have to charge, whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony, 
that can be stressful in itself because these are young adults and you know we've all made mistakes but we do I still at the end of the day I have a job that I have to do and so with that I just try to get through it by mentoring them through that process and helping them to be able to grow and turn away from whatever the bad decision they may have made. I think the most difficult part of the job is trying not to get emotionally tied up with the kids because sometimes you can find yourself wanting to make sure that this kid is okay. I mean, sometimes you may have a kid that's having a hard day or having a hard problem, and you try to not to take that home. I would want the community to know that the SROs in the schools love these kids. We are there to provide them with excellence. We are there to provide them with whatever knowledge and experience that we can and to be their cheerleaders all at the same time while pushing them on through. Because like the old saying, it takes a village to raise children nowadays. And so we just, I like being there just to push them along the way. These SROs look after them, they guide them, they give them advice. Sometimes they just are uh, a different person that they can just vent to. And we're not going to you know, use that information in a bad way. We're, we're generally there to assist those kids in their development and their growth as human beings. The most rewarding part of being an SRO is coming to work, seeing the beautiful children, and letting them know that I'm here for you. It has been such a rewarding career to be an officer for over 20 years, from dealing with the streets, patrol, to drugs. Now I'm happy when I come to work. It's no sad of me dealing with something wrong or something bad because being a police officer is very rough. But being a school resource officer, you have joy. You have joy to come see the kids, to be happy, get fives, give out treats and to be loved because their interaction with you is nothing but love. And I try to give that every each and every time I try to interact with a kid to let them know, hey, I'm Officer Teddy. You might be having a bad day today, but I'm here to be just like a teddy bear, give you some love and some hugs, and we're gonna get through this. And I just love being around the kids. It's, it's almost emotional for me because I look at them because I love them. I mean, I don't want nobody to go home harmed and I'm gonna give them all my blood, sweats, and tears to make sure these kids are okay and safe.